Hello YouTube universe, Emily here bringing you another makeup tutorial. As you can see, it is an avant-garde makeup tutorial. And yeah, let's get on to it. Starting off, I'm removing my eyebrows with glue stick. Once that dries, I'm patting white face paint all over. And I did about two layers of that glue stick, by the way. Applying that face paint all over my face and ears. Now I'm taking white face powder and setting my whole entire face. Then using black cream paint, I'm going to be curving out my jawline. Using this aqua teal eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying that on random areas all around my face. Forget the brush, I ended up using my fingers. I liked how the texture looked. And then now using a blue pigment, I'm going to be dotting that around the same areas as the teal, but also in random areas as well. Again, using my fingers. Then I'm taking some tweezers and like scraping off the eyeshadow to give it more of a powder splatter effect. And since I'm using a pigment for this darker blue one, I just took a brush and just dabbed it for that same effect. Now taking orange paint, I am going to be dripping that on random areas around my face kind of like orange blood. To give the watercolor effect, I'm taking the Urban Decay Setting Spray and I'm going to be spraying that on the blood and certain areas around the face to kind of dilute the color and to like make it more of a watercolor effect, which you will see in just a sec how it drips down. Here's an example of how it drips down using the makeup setting spray. Going back to that black cream paint, I am taking that, where am I taking that? Okay, I'm taking that down my neck and I'm filling everything in and kind of stopping right above my collarbone. Taking that same paint, I'm going to be carving out my forehead and the sides of my temple just to get the effect that I wanted. More of a blunt edge, if you will. Same thing on the other side. As you guys can see, I extended my black neckline further down and made it kind of more straight. And I added some more eyeshadow and pigment onto my hairline. Now, using this bottle cap and some black gel eyeliner to give me perfect circles because no one can really draw perfect circles with a free hand, I'm just using that as a guide and just painting on some geometric shapes for the next few seconds. Some I leave empty and some I fill in using the black gel liner. I thought this part was super funny. One of my friends contacted me saying that they saw the Mickey Mouse, as you can see here. You guys see the Mickey? Um, I didn't tell you guys I made a collaboration with Disney World. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I just thought that was really funny and I wanted to pause and show you guys that. I didn't even mean to do that. I just think it's super cute. There's a Mickey Mouse on my cheek now. Um, but yeah, anyways, adding more geometric shapes, more circles, filling some in, leaving some empty, you know the deal. completes my artistic geometrical Alex Box inspired 
avant-garde makeup tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in my next video. Bye!